Hi, my name is Jake, and for my gender and public assignment, I decided to go to Walmart to test the difference between little girl costumes and little boy costumes. And to test, to completely test the difference between the two, I decided to get the same age. And they're also the same size. So, for the girls' costumes, all you saw were like dresses and princess costumes and really anything that was really cutesy and girly. Whereas the boys' costumes was anything that showed them to be bad or protective or scary in any way. So they had like the scary clowns and the Navy SEALs, the army guys, and the wrestlers. Whereas the girls are also, if you, you can even tell just by looking at the picture, because while the girl is sitting there smiling and showing off her dress and her sparkly shoes and her tiara, the guy is over here throwing a grenade and he has like this angry look in his eyes. So that's some of the difference between female and male costumes. Now we're going to talk about the color. All of the female costumes were really, really bright colors, like yellow and pink, and they all had so much pink on them. And this is also bedazzled, whereas the boys is quite plain. It's very, very dark and camo and black. And where on the Belle costume, it has a beaded like front, she also has like a cutesy little badge with pink diamonds in it and a gold thing around it. Whereas the boys, theirs is pretty plain, but they do have an American flag on theirs. So, and also, one thing I forgot to mention is the fact that the boys also have like leg padding in here to show that they're like stronger. And that's another thing that was in the differences is they showed a lot of boys with like strong muscles, basically. Now we're gonna talk about the accessories that the costumes come in. So the girls costume comes with a really pretty tiara that's gold with pink sparkly jewels in them. Whereas the boys' costume comes with a walkie-talkie, a knife, two grenades, a headset. Another thing too with these is you can also see the difference in color as well. The girls has a really bright gold and a bright sparkly pink, whereas his is completely dark. You have dark, two dark blue grenades, and then a black headset, a black walkie-talkie, and a black and silver knife. So, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the price. As you can see, both of these are the same size. Both of these are the for the same age of kids. This one may have actually a little bit more because this one just has a tiara with it. Whereas this one comes with a ton of extra stuff. The boys is a lot cheaper than the girls. So even though it's for kids both age four to six, the males is $22.97. Whereas the girls is $24.97. Now that's not much in price, but if you add that up for over the years, you will have spent a lot more money on girls clothes and girls costumes than you will on boys stuff. Even though boys costumes seems to come with more. So, although you may not think that gender means anything and like we don't show much about showing kids like what their gender norms are, we do. These costumes do it. We are showing girls that they need to become princesses and that they need men to take care of them. Because if you look at it, every princess who was on the wall for girls, they were all princesses who 
needed men to save them and men to protect them. Whereas they show boys as the fighters and the protectors and the warriors.